Hey everyone, it's PJD here and today I'm going to be talking to you about Love Lettuce, which is a mask from Lush. It's an exfoliating face mask. If you may remember, I spoke in other videos about uh, Lush masks. You cannot buy them online. They're only available in the stores uh, at Lush because they have to keep them in the refrigerators and when you bring them home, you have to refrigerate it as well. So this is one of those masks. The price point is from like $5.95 to about $9.95 or so, somewhere in that zone. Um, I don't remember seeing any of them for 10 bucks and I don't have the receipt for this one anymore sorry but I want to say it's like $7.95 so uh, let me just show you first what it looks like hope you can see that it looks kind of like green uh, mud kind of and when it came it was kind of filled up to the top so that's good you feel like you get your money's worth and remember that these masks because they have to remain refrigerated and they have such uh, fresh ingredients they have expiration dates and I just want to say Generally, if you go, you know, a little over the expiration date, like for these masks and stuff, it's fine. But I went way over with this particular one. <laughs> so we're in, what are we now, almost mid-December or mid-December, yeah. So um, this mask does not, I can't use this for my face anymore. And I say that because, do you see how it's peeling away from the sides of the jar, just like that? That's not how it was in the beginning, um, even though this is sticking to my finger kind of well. If you're trying to spread this mask on your face, it actually will like fall off. Like it, it can't even stay. So, I mean, some pieces will stay on. So I use this because it is an exfoliating mask. And I'll talk to you about that in a second. But I use it just as a scrub for my hands. And it works really well in that regard. So the expiration date for certain products, it really does matter. Um, and you should follow the you know dates and all that because it just doesn't have that same sticking power that it had when I first bought this product you know you spread a mask on your face it stays it dries you wash it off and it's great this one is like falling off and just whatever is helping it to kind of stick to your skin whichever ingredient that is has since worn off apparently but um it's great as a scrub so back to the review of this product as an actual mask. So this is supposed to tighten your skin, draw out impurities, and make your skin feel really smooth. Now I have combination skin. This particular product says that it's for a uh, skin that is from the oily zone, normal to oily. Now combination means that I have some areas on my skin that definitely they're dry zones and I have some oily zones as well. For the oily zones, perfect because it draws out the impurities. It makes, it feels like it sucks everything out of my skin. So terrific. For the dry zones, I need to be careful only because it will make it even drier, you know. So yes, it's sucking out impurities, but in the process making my skin feel uh, extra dry in those areas so the way I try to deal with that is just by using less of it in those dry zones because I, I of course know my dry zones so I use less of it there and uh, everything seems to work out just fine and I can use more in my oily zones if need be uh, the product is referred to as an exfoliating face mask and it is indeed because one of the ingredients in here it has almond oil it has honey it has um, kaolin I'll talk to you about that in a second but it also has ground almond and shells so the shells as you would imagine it, that's pretty abrasive and when you put the mask on you rub it on your face you know you let the mask dry but as you're washing it off even you know how you kind of move your fingers in a circular motion because you want that mask off and you're using the water to try and get the mask off your face well yeah in essence with these um, almond shells being ground up in here you are moving these almond shells which are already abrasive all around your skin and it is like getting rid of dead uh, skin cells and smoothing out your skin so yes this mask will get rid of impurities um suck it out of your skin it will also help to exfoliate your skin and smooth it out because it has those ground almond shells in it so that's really nice um just again be careful if you already have dry skin this may not if your skin is completely dry this may not be the mask for you but if you have combination then you may be able to work it out just as i have okay um the other thing now just talking about ingredients so honey terrific it has some great things in here almond oil it has a uh, kaolin in here which is uh, an ingredient, it's often referred to as uh, China's clay or China clay. And you, you may find that on the ingredients list for, for lots of masks. It naturally has many of the uh, minerals that we take into our bodies in pill form. So it has zinc, has magnesium, it has iron, all in this kaolin uh, powder. And you can buy the powder itself 
from websites like um, Mountain Rose Herbs, where I, I spoke about in a previous video because I got my hibiscus from that website. But um, yeah, so you can get the kaolin in there and use it. It's used in lots of mass. So it has these nice minerals in here. That's terrific. Um, oh, it also, also has um, on the ingredients list agar agar, which on some ingredient packages, you may just see agar, which is essentially um, like an algae. It's an algae, and um, so it's, of course, from a plant. Uh, it's used in many cosmetics as like a, a thickener. So, you know, that's okay. And, you know, I guess the, the plant life factor of it itself is uh, another reason why you really don't want to go too far beyond the expiration date. Maybe it loses some of its uh, zest, its power. But anyway, so I, I do like this mask. Um, my favorite one from the Lush collection of these um, exfoliating masks would have to be the um, BB seaweed. To me, that just gives me a glow and tightens up my skin. And even though I have combination skin, that one seems to work overall, my whole face. You know, I don't have to worry about dry zones versus oily zones. So that would be my favorite. Um, but this love lettuce is certainly not bad at all. Um, was there anything else I want to? Oh, it also has um, lavender oil in, in it. And you may know that lavender oil is used in uh, aromatherapy oils and other things because they feel that lavender oil, the scent of it is very calming so you be the judge of that I'm not going to say that it's going to make you feel calm or, or anything but um, the scent of this mask is pretty it smells kind of minty um, yeah so it has a little minty scent to it and a little seaweed scent to it as well so kind of like a combination of the sea and and mint <laughs> if you can imagine that so that's not bad uh, the other ingredients are pretty good it has also um perfume at the very end of the ingredients list and you know whenever companies they have something that says like perfume or fragrance you know they they're not telling you what was used to make up that perfume or that fragrance but um you know uh, you kind of hope that it's something that's not going to uh, really really hurt you um, they also have glycerin in this product. I should mention that and er everything else was really on, on the up and up. So this is a lush mask that does not, you know, try to hide under the cloak of being vegan or natural yet. They have horrible ingredients in here. This, this one was actually, um, like the BBC one, um, pretty good, pretty good. So, um, I do like this mask and that's kind of it for this review. Oh, and it has Fuller's Earth in it too, which is another type of clay that you'll commonly find in some masks, right? And some other ingredients too, but nothing else was like a shocker in here or anything. So, and some other essential oils were listed. So I like love lettuce. All right, now on to the next 